what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife I am so glad you're here My name's Leslie Listen, I started shooting this video a little while ago, and we had a big faux pas happen, but we're going to start it now and um, go from here. So, let me tell you, it is absolutely a glorious day. It's going to be in the 80s. I think it's finally I can put short sleeves on. I hope I won't be cold today. I'm always cold. But, um, yes, yeah, so... I'll, in a little while, I'll be brave enough to open up the windows and have some fresh air come in, and I cannot wait. I am so super excited. So, let me tell you what we're making today. First of all, today's, tonight's supper is going to be super simple because I'll be going over to my niece's house. Um, we are going to um, make something, I don't know, we may do BLT sandwiches or fried Spam sam biscuits. I'm not sure. I'm kind of wanting some Spam. Is that weird? I know that's weird. Um, but I, I'm kind of wanting it. But I need to make a side to go with it. And I know we have potato chips or your normal stuff. But I thought, why not? It's warm today. It's actually feeling a little bit like spring slash summer. And um, why not make a summery side dish like a pasta salad? So, let me tell you, normally I use the three-color rotini in this, and that's the box I had out to begin this recipe with, and the colors just, it didn't look vibrant, it looked off, and then when I opened it up, there was something else in the box, like black specks or something, and so I don't know if it was an old box at the store, and I, I don't know, I just didn't feel good about using it, so... We're going to use something else. It won't be as pretty as my normal pasta salad, but it'll be just as good. So we are going to use this penne. And I like to use a bigger pasta along with maybe a smaller or a different style pasta. So I'm going to use this penne and um, about half of this box of elbow macaronis. Um, I've got some um, dilatini, digitini. I, don't, I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, I've got some of those little small ones. But I think the I think the macaroni size will be perfect. So, I'm just, I've got my water on to boil. And so, I'm waiting for that. While When I get the pasta put in, we'll come back and we'll chop up some veggies. Hey, there is a veggie going in here that I forgot. And that is a cucumber. So, um... I almost want to go get one, and I may go get one later tonight after the fact, after the video's up and um, uploaded for you guys, so I may get a cucumber later, um, but that's something I really wish I could put in here. Hey, this recipe, too, is so versatile that I don't even know that I'll put a recipe in the description because all you need is pasta and then whatever else you want to add. You can make this just like you want it. Mine can just be an inspiration for you to get started and think of things to add to your pasta salad. But, um, I, I just usually look in my refrigerator and see what I have. Now, with the exception of the cucumber, I normally put a cucumber in mine even if I have to go buy it. But, um, I don't always put onion in this because you know, those of you who have followed me for a time, long time know that Bryant's not a big fan of onion so I may put some green onion in it or maybe just a little bit of onion um, but anyway so let's get this um, going the the water boiling and while we're waiting 
let me do my like and subscribe spiel. So guys, if you're new here, I would like to say welcome. I am Leslie. I am the farm and pastor's wife and you are in my kitchen down on the farm and I'm thrilled to have you here. If you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to do so. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, give me a comment. Let me know where you're watching from. This is the greatest community anywhere. It is absolutely wonderful. And I'm so proud of the Farm and Pastor's Wife community. And um, I'm just would like to say welcome. Hey, and if you're not new and you're back, welcome back. You guys know how much I love and appreciate you, each and every one of you, with all my heart. So, um, <clears throat> all right, now let's wait for the water to boil. All right, so I was just reading the package of this since I've had to back up and punt. Um, and this says 13 to 15 minutes. I definitely want my pasta al dente. I want there to be a firmness to the pasta. I don't want it to be mush. With the macaroni, it's nine to 11 minutes. So that I would want to cook nine minutes. This may take a little longer. So I am gonna cook it separate. That was not the plan to begin with, but I am gonna cook it separate. So I'm going in with the penne now, and then we'll take it out, put it over in the sink, cool it off, and then do the macaroni. Hey, and I just realized there's another vegetable I totally forgot to get. So we're definitely gonna have to go to the store. And so I'm hoping Bryant gets home with my car <laughs> fast enough for me to get to the store. So uh, I forgot cherry tomatoes. That's gotta go in here. All right, so we're gonna get started. We're gonna get it done up to where I have to go to the store and then we'll just make a trip to the store. Well, guys, my timer went off on the penne, so I'm just going to, I've got a colander here sitting in a bowl, and I'm just gonna scoop it out and leave the water on the stove so we can just add our macaroni right in. That other pasta was probably fine. It, I just, I don't know. There was just something on it. It was just off about it. All right, guys, let me finish dipping all this out. I'll bring you back when we add the macaroni. I've got water pouring over the penne and so to cool it down and to stop the cooking process. So I'm going in this boiling water with about half of this box macaroni noodles. And we're just gonna cook those right in here. And then we'll be ready to put our salad together up until I have to go to the store or Bryant stops and brings something home for me. I'm gonna see if he'll grab it on his way home. So. All right, I'll bring you back in just a second. So while the macaroni's finishing, let's chop up the few vegetables I did remember to get. I got a green pepper, a red pepper, a yellow pepper, and I'm almost done chopping those up just in bite-sized pieces, not a really fine dice. Um, I want this to be a hearty pasta salad, not a, not a you know, well, it is savory, but not... Um, heavy but hearty in the sense of I want there to be good bites of everything. I don't want everything just pureed up together if that if you know what I mean. I want good bites. That's why I left the pasta um, al dente and maybe I left it a little too al dente but there's a lot of chew to that pasta and that's the way I like it. I could have maybe let it go a minute longer but it's gonna be great. All right, so I just finished chopping up the yellow pepper. Um, I will go and get, or Bryant's gonna bring home, the cherry tomatoes and a cucumber. I think those are the two things I really want to go in there. Now, like I said, you make this your way. If you don't like peppers, Leave it out. 
I want a meat in here. And uh, bacon pieces, fry up some bacon, chop them up, that would go great. Ham, ham pieces would be great in this. Um, but I think I'm gonna do pepperoni. And I think what I'm gonna do is just um, kind of slice them in half. I'm not gonna go heavy on the pepperoni. I may come back and cut them in quarters. Let's do that. That'll make them go a little further. But like I said, ham, bacon, you don't even have to put meat in here if you don't want to. You can just do whatever you want. This is, this is your pasta salad. You make it with things that you think you would like in it. Now as far as cheeses go, you can add whatever cheese you guys want. Um, can you guys guess what cheese I'll be putting in here? How well do you know me? What cheese would I put in here? Or am I going to put in here? It's gonna be a while before I add it, so you've got time to guess. <laughs> and go ahead and leave your guess in the comment now, because before the video's over, you're gonna know, and it won't be fair then. <laughs> Okay, so that's all the pepperoni I'm going to chop up. Uh, I am going to see if I got any green onions. If I don't have any green onions, I may slice up, just chop up just a little bit of onion. But let me see what I got in the refrigerator. Okay, everyone, I did find a few green onions that were... I had to peel away some of the outer skin. It had dried a little bit, but the inner part is perfect. So I'm just gonna cut these up and we'll add those in. And that'll give it that little onion kick that I think we all want in our pasta salad, even if we don't really want to bite into a big piece of onion. I don't mind biting into onion, but you know, Bryant, he likes the onion flavor. He's just, it's a texture thing for him. So this kind of fixes that problem. All right, I'm not going to add this in with the peppers. I've never had green onions burn my eyes until now. Um, I'm not going to um, mix those in with the peppers because if I don't use all the peppers, I want to freeze those. So I'm just going to set that aside. All right, everybody, let's, as far as much as the stuff we've got now, let's go ahead and get that marinating. We can add the cucumbers and tomatoes at a later time. All right, so let me, let's mix up our pepper so I can get, you know, lots of color. It's gonna be hard for me to eyeball this because I'm always used to making it with the tri-color. Um, let's give that a stir. Give that a nibble. I love peppers. back in there. I think we can add the whole thing. Add the whole thing in there. Let's go in with our green onions. Let me go grab some salt. I don't think I had my pasta water salted quite enough. Probably could use some more veggies. All right, let me get some salt. We are definitely going to need those cucumbers and tomatoes. Definitely. All right. Now, let's add in our pepperoni. And I kind of want to, I don't want them to stick together. 
So I'm trying to kind of, I tried to spread them out. And we'll see if we need more once we get it in here. I hear the tractor pulling up. Y'all, it's about that time of year, hay season. Getting all our fields sprayed. Bryant is at a surgery with um, a lady in our church. All right. I may eventually, when I get this whole salad put together, add more pepperoni. But right now I'm going to stop with what I had done. We will keep stirring it up. Hey, I want to show you guys something. Hang on one second. Okay, so for this next item I'm going to put in here, I know some of you guys, let me talk to you face to face. <laughs> I know some of you guys will string me up for this one and some of you will high five me for this one. But this is something Bryant and I both love. If you don't love it, leave them out. But I'm going to put in black olives. You could do green olives, any kind of olives you want, but I'm putting in some olives. And I actually have a jar of Kalamata olives in the refrigerator. Um, I'm putting black because they're just a little bit milder, but I'm gonna, um, if I have some excess of the Kalamata olives, which I think I do, I'm going to, but isn't this beautiful already? So let me see how many of the Kalamata olives I have. And we'll add those in there and then we'll put our dressing on it and our cheese. And then when I get back from the grocery store or when Bryant comes home, we'll add the tomatoes and the cucumber. So I had a few and then I left a few for Bryant to munch on. So I'm just going to slice these in half and drop them in there. And have y'all guessed the cheese yet? I'm actually going to dress this, the pasta salad before I put the cheese in. And I'm asking you, and you guys can see the cheese. <laughs> one of my favorite now you could by all means you could you I'll probably add some Parmesan cheese in here the the grated kind um, I'll definitely probably add some Parmesan um, but you could add cheddar Parmesan mozzarella I have mozzarella too I don't know um, but um, you can add whatever that's why I'm saying a pasta salad you can put it together and make it exactly what you want it to be. Um, that's why I'm probably not going to add a recipe in here. I mean, I might tell you, you know, the I don't know. I mean, you, you don't even have to do anything I did and still make up. The only thing you got to do is have some kind of pasta. You can take spaghetti noodles. I have had a pasta salad. I haven't made it, but I've had one where somebody has just broke up spaghetti noodles and use that in a pasta salad, a cold pasta salad. So, all right, let's talk about dressing. Um, there again, you can do whatever you want. If you want a creamy dressing, you can use um, like a creamy Italian, you can use a ranch, um, you can use any Thing. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless to a pasta salad. Like, it is, it's it's an artist's dream. A pasta salad should be a culinary artist's dream because they can make it whatever they want it to be. And I don't mean an artist in how it looks. I mean, in what you put in it. So, I'm stirring it around. But let's keep talking. 
you can add raspberry vinaigrette. Oh, wow, that would be awesome. And just put berries in it, maybe, and have all kinds sorts of things. But what I'm going to put, and I like to use a light dressing, um, just because it's it doesn't separate quite as bad. And so I'm using a Zesty Italian light, and I'm going to use the whole bottle, and I may need more. Um, this is a pretty big salad, so I'm hoping this dressing will be enough. But here is what I got. I think it's Great Value brand. Yeah, Great Value Zesty Italian, and I'm just going to douse this whole pasta salad in that dressing. But like I said, anything you want to use. Like I said, if you want it creamy, a little more savory, then, then use like a creamy Italian or a ranch or something like that. If you want it a little more fruity and you wanted to add mandarin oranges in here and some blueberries, and so forth, then you could use the raspberry vinaigrette. It would be absolutely delicious. All right, so let's go in with our feta. And then the only thing we'll have left is our cucumbers and cherry tomatoes. In which I will probably, I don't know, I'll start to say I might leave them whole, but I don't know. Now I'm gonna use quite a bit of the feta just because I happen to like a lot of feta. <laughs> Y'all, I cannot wait to dig into this. I'm gonna stick it in the refrigerator. The lo this is one of those things, the longer it sits, the better it gets. Whoa. All right, how beautiful is that? Is that not gorgeous? Oh my goodness, okay. So, I'm gonna get this in the refrigerator. I'll bring you back when the extra stuff gets here. So let's talk about seasonings. I just added salt. You can add pepper, and I might add a little pepper. Um, Italian seasoning can be added in there depending on the flavors you're putting in there. You can add some garlic. You can season this up the way you want to. And I am, Bryant's gonna pick up the tomatoes and the cucumber for me. And so when we get it ready, and when I decide what we're having for supper, we're gonna have an early supper, maybe a real early supper. But anyway, I'll give the pasta salad a taste for you, even if it's before supper. But as soon as the cucumber and tomatoes get here, I'll bring you back while we add those in. So I told you I wanted to show you guys something. You know Daniel who works here on the farm for us. And he has just recently found a hobby that he absolutely loves. And it's a type of artwork. Now, I'm not exactly sure how he does it. It's kind of, um, I, I'm not sure. We'll have to get him to tell us, but he brought me some and told me I could have a couple. And so I went through and picked them out and I love this color scheme. And I just wanted to show you what he's doing and um, how absolutely talented. Look at that. Is that not absolutely gorgeous? And I picked these two out because they kind of go. And he was showing me um, like this can look one way, this way, and it totally take on a new look. No matter, like I can go around and just spin it and have a different piece of art, but it almost has that tortoise shell look. Um, I just thought it was beautiful and I'm so thankful he gave me, um, two pieces of his, uh, I, I don't know how he's, I don't know if he's taking a hairdryer or just pouring it on, letting it run. I don't know what he's doing. Um, he has explained it to me, but I can't remember. But I love it. 
I think it's beautiful. So I just thought I would show you these pieces of art. And um, so yeah, all we're doing is waiting on the cucumber and the tomatoes. All right, so I've got my cucumbers and my tomatoes sliced and cut in half and chopped up. So I'm gonna see if I can make room in this bowl for these things. It's getting full. I know some's gonna spill out. It's okay. I just wanna get this down in there so it can marinate really good in the juices. Ah! All right, now let's see if we can get these tomatoes in there. All right, I'm gonna get these mixed in. I'm gonna let it sit just a little bit longer and then we'll be ready to try it. Now, like I said, the longer this sits, the better it gets. So like tomorrow, hold on, sorry. So like I was saying, tomorrow is gonna be even more amazing. So we'll give this a try and we'll stick it back in the refrigerator, let it sit a little bit longer. We'll come back and try it and we'll ask Bryant what we're gonna have for supper tonight. All right, we are ready to try the pasta salad. Ready for the taste test. And then we're gonna ask Bryant, out of the two options for supper, which he wants. All right, here we go. This will be our side for supper. Here we go. She likes this penne pasta, don't you? Mm -hmm. Have you told him that already? Yeah. I don't know if I told him I liked it. I usually use the rotini, but that it just looked like an old box of pasta and I just didn't feel good using it. So we had penne and I used it. Really good. This is a good spring little deal right here. Yes. Or winter. Or summer. Any cookout. Would love to have this sitting on the table. Um, really good. Not too heavy in, in mm -mm. Italian dressing or anything. And you can add more or less depending on what you mm -hmm. like. You've got a great mix right there. Got some feta in there. Mm -hmm. Maybe some more later. Did you put any Parmesan? No, I was going to and I yep. forgot. But you definitely could. And that goes yeah. well with feta. Explain that. Parmesan. Mm -hmm. Parmesan. Yeah. Our kids used to say Parmesan. Isaac did, yeah. So this is this is really good. Um, you could add if you want to. You could add a little bit of bacon bits. You know what I mean? Yep. There's along so many, with the pepperoni. So many things you could. Add. I said ham pieces. If they got one of those ham steaks, can I have a bite? I'm sorry. <clears throat> I thought you already tried it. You didn't tell me. <laughs> Speaker for never hold your peace. Mmm. Yeah, really good. Mm-hmm. And if I, if I did Parmesan, I'd probably do the sprinkle. Mm -hmm. yeah. The green cam. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, so many things you can add or take away from that to make it yours. Exactly right. I've already, that was what I told them. Oops. My problem was there. See, I didn't know that because I wasn't here. I was at the hospital making a visit when she made yep. this. And I told them you, can, you could do ranch dressing if you wanted a creamy or creamy Italian. Mm -hmm. You could do so many different things with this. So. You know. So we've never, I don't think we've ever put in them. I wonder if it would work. Banana peppers. Oh, yeah. It'd be great in them. Yeah, good little twang. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'd be great in them. All right, there you yeah. go. All right. Good now, little side dish. Wait, we got to talk about. Um, got something on Got something on You look like feta cheese. Mm -hmm. You want. Um, I'm fed up. <laughs> Y'all get tired of that one. Do you want. Um, Two all beef patties, special sauce. Be, look, he's trying to get back in the pasta salad. Let me get some more. Go ahead. I'm going to Do you want. Um, BLTs yeah. or fried spam biscuits. I'll do either. Spam biscuits yeah, it is. I'm not a picky eater. I haven't had spam in so long and we were at the grocery store and I See, said, a little girl digress the other day. Yeah. Yeah, I went back to my childhood. Yeah. I was like, I need to get some spam. So we got the biscuits this weekend. <laughs> yeah. So, yep. And we'll have pasta salad as our side. We we're going to have BLT Saturday night. And some little girl called. And she said, Dad, will Name you. Name Caroline. Dad, will you grill me a steak if I buy the steak? 
I said, yes. Yeah. So I went and got Leslie and I steak, and we, that's what we ate for supper Saturday night. We're going to have a Saturday. was a busy day. Sunday was a busy day. And so. Did you get our steak? Or just tell them to get it? Oh, I got it. Mm. Uncle Fred. Mm-hmm. Steaks are expensive these days. Yep. I mean, ribeyes are like $16.99 a piece now. This is really good. Yeah, this is really good. All right, guys. I gotta go. I'll see you later. Remember, the grease is hot enough. You can, you can fry, fry anything. anything. Bye, Bye y'all.